Okay, it's three o'clock and I'm watching the uh, closing ceremonies of the Olympic Games, the Paralympic Games. I, I get so emotional at any ceremony. If it's a parade, if it's a opening ceremony, closing ceremony, if it's a, a any event like that, I get emotional. It doesn't matter what it is. It's weird, but it always happens. It can be an awards show. No, not so much awards shows, but yeah, ceremonies, ceremonies. And I know parades. It's horrible. Yeah, funerals, weddings, anything like that. Okay. That's because I was just wiping the tears out of my eyes before I started this video because I had to, I couldn't see. Yeah. So the, the Paralympics are over. So that that's done. What else did I want to talk about Ellie? I had so much to talk about and now I've forgotten it. I had a dream. Not last night, the night before. And I have mentioned this before. And this has nothing to do with the, uh, with the Paralympics. But um, I've been wanting to talk about this and keep on forgetting. I had a dream and I hate having dreams. I've mentioned it before. I don't like dreaming. Other people have wonderful dreams. I That's the reason I wanted to talk about it. There was somebody talking about a dream that they had. And they have good dreams. They have memorable dreams. They have relevant dreams. I never do. My dreams are always, always total fiction. Not much to do with my life such as it is. Now, in the past, I, I hear I'm saying this and then I, I go, oh, no, but in the past. In the past, I had dreams about work and I hated it because they were always, they weren't about anything that happened, but they were places that were my workplace, not my actual workplace, but in the dream, I felt like I was at work and these were my coworkers. Okay. So there were my coworkers there. I was at work and I was always uncomfortable, unhappy. It was never nice. Never, never. And, uh, I can never understand why people talk about liking their dreams so much when I never like mine. So every night I say to myself, no dreaming now because my dreaming is about fiction, total fiction. It's never about nice things. It's never about cats and dogs and you know, animals. It's always about non-existent people in non-existent places. What did I dream about the other night? I went around the corner and I got sprayed by a skunk. Almost. I didn't get sprayed by a skunk, but I almost got sprayed by a skunk. I just saw the skunk and started backing off. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's the kind of dream that I have. Nothing, nothing nice. Nothing memorable. Nothing. So for that reason, I don't want to dream. Anyway. It's so nice. I could go out there and clean my windows if I weren't totally messed up. If I go out there and jump down into my window well, I'll hurt my ankle or hurt my, uh, my knee. Ankles and knees don't do well with cleaning windows in window wells. 
Okay, so there we go. So I am these days watching two shows on uh, Amazon Prime. Did I mention this? I cannot remember. Hello, daughter in Taidomi. She met him. She is lucky. She met the fantastic hockey player, Taidomi. <laughs> Taidomi used to be my favorite hockey player. He still is. I love him. He's no longer on the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was a Maple Leaf. He was their muscle. And I thought he was the greatest. Now his son plays for the Maple Leafs. He's not their muscle. But he's a good player. What's happening? What kind of email am I getting? Nothing. Nothing interesting. Yeah, so um, I'm watching Amazon Prime. Two shows. I'm watching Reacher. Hey, Reacher. My husband loved Reacher. He read all the books. I never read the Reacher books. But... In his honor, I'm watching the TV show. So that's it. I'm, I'm in the first season. It's not a fantastic show by any means, but hey, it's kind of show I watch. When I'm also watching, well, you know that I'm watching Only Murders in the Building, fine, but not on Prime. Oh, yes, it's on Prime now. No, that's, that's uh, not Prime. Apple. But on Prime, oh, I like this guy. He's the, the head of the uh, Tony Estangue, Paris of the Organizing Committee of the Olympic and the Paralympic Games. I like him. He's so good looking. Anyway, um, I am also watching... Rings of Power, yeah, the uh, prequel to The Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> I started watching that second season last night because I didn't feel like watching another Reacher. <sighs> so we got it worked out because I accidentally got Amazon Prime when I didn't need to, but only a week. I, I'm sure I've mentioned this. No, I just told my kids about it. So dense. Anyway, I uh, I'm gonna as soon as my week is over, I will. It's three more days. I will uh, get my son to get me into the proper Amazon Prime. I don't know why. Well, I never tried. I man, I just forgot. Anyway, I'm good. I'm good. He said I should just sign out and sign in, but whatever. I'll just keep watching it to the end of it. And then they keep on trying to get me to watch, to uh, use Apple, no, to use Prime Music. I don't feel like it. I cannot use Prime Music. I can't listen to music intentionally. It has to be unintentionally. You know how that goes? I have that problem. I've listened to a few other people who, you know, a few other people have mentioned the same thing, where they cannot choose music and then listen to it, because I find that boring. Music has to come on my ears accidentally, and then I'll be, I always like it when someone else makes the music selection. Anyway, today I listened to <laughs> Matea Roach. She is now working for the CBC, and she has a, a job. She has lots of jobs, uh, but she's super smart, and she has the job of every Sunday at 1 o'clock. She has a, a CBC program. Kind of neat. Every Sunday, 1 o'clock, CBC radio. Listen to Matea Roach. She talks to people about books. I forget the name of her program. But she, she's an amazing talker. She loves talking. She's from the East Coast. And uh, 
She just loves to talk and she is so smart and so well read, so knowledgeable. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm not going to babble on any longer. It's been long enough. And uh, that's three o'clock, 3.09. And I've done the kitty litter and I've done, everything's done. And my dishes. And there's gonna be pizza tonight, all right. Which is good because I bought feta cheese. Yes. I finished off my feta cheese that I had in the fridge last night for my supper. And today, Mimi said, pizza tonight. I went, Good, because I got feta in my order. Came today. Luckily, I have mushrooms. Mushrooms, feta cheese, and what else? Peppers. Yes, I have all three. I'm good. <laughs>